everyone and welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love and for your support if you are new to the channel you're welcome if you have not subscribed already please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay so you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger and then if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have presently available okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut a 720 degree handkerchief play or handkerchief paper so you can see the video show to you the picture on the video i showed to you earlier so you can see it is fuller than the normal regular one that have just four sides so that's what we are going to do because it is a 720 so i'm going to um, show you how to how to calculate your your formula for this for the this kind of flat is a simple process so i'm just going to rule here and then we're going to use this part so i just want to make sure you can see it so the waist measurement that i'm going to be making use of is 20 inches so that's the waist that's like the full round waist measurement okay so what i'm going to do because it is a 720 I'm, so 720 that's half of 360 i'm going to divide it into into two okay so i'm going to explain to you the measurement that we're going to make use of so the waist measurement that we're making use of is 20 inches and you know we're cutting out 720 720 is double of 360 okay so because it is double of 360 so what we're going to do now so that means we're cutting out two fillet so we'll divide our waist measurement so any measurement you are using just divide it into two so once i divide this into two i'm going to have 10 inches now for instance if my waist measurement is 30 if i divide it into two i'm going to have 15 if you if it is 40 you are going to have 20 so just like that so the next thing i'm going to add allowance because i'm going to stitch them you understand so it depends on the, the how many inches allowance you usually use to stitch so that is what you will add to it so for this i'm going to add one inch allowance and then i'm going to add one inch extra allowance also for zip allowance so at the end of it i'm going to have two inches so i'm adding two inches so you can add four inches so it depends on how many allowance you are adding mm -hmm. so please note for your zip and then for the stitching so for this so since i'm adding just two inches so at the end of the day i'm going to have i'm going to have 12 inches now so this 12 inches now i'm going to use my normal regular peplum formula which is 6.28 i'm going to divide it by 6.28 so i'm going to have 12 divide by 6.28 so this is like a standard formula for dividing of flay so you note so when i divide this i'm going to have 1.9 so i'm going to have 1.9 when you divide 12 by 6.28 you are going to have 1.9 so what i'm going to cut here now on the nip of my flay is 1.9 so this formula that i just explained to you you can use it for your regular flay you can use it for even when you are doing sleeve and you want it to be so full so, but this is an handkerchief peplum, so you still need the formula to cut out this part, which is the radius part. So, that is why we are doing this. So, now we have our formula, which is 1.9. So, this is what we are going to use now. Okay, so now we are going to insert our measurement on our piece. So, that was 1.9. I'm going to come to this point like this. I'll mark my 1.9. So, I'm just going to approximate it to almost 2. I'll mark it here. And then I'll come to this side also. This nip, I will mark it like that. So with that, so you can see I've marked that waist part round. So we're cutting out two. Please note. So because this is an handkerchief flare or handkerchief peplum, depends on the the length that I'm going to use. So for this, I'm going to use ten inches. So that ten inches, I will mark it on two sides. Okay, so I'll mark my ten inches here like this on this side. And then I'll come to this side also like this. I'll come to this other folded end also. I'll mark my 10 inches here like this. I'll mark it. After marking my 10 inches, I'm just trying to rule it out. So I'll connect it like this. So make sure I'm connecting it. It's going to be straight four inches. That's four 
length so you note what i'm doing on this side this folded side i marked 10 inches on this folded side also i marked 10 inches and then i connected them together okay so now i'm going to cut this out now so since i'm cutting two i'm going to place my fabric let me just place both of them and then we'll cut both of them together okay so i've i've joined them i've placed them properly on top of each other so now i'm going to trim them together straight waist area so note when i'm cutting the waist i will not cut it on that exact point i'm just going to come up a little bit and then i'll cut this open so i'm going to open one and show you so when you open it this is how it's going to look so you just hold this nip like this and then you so once you hold it so you can see our handkerchief of length. so i hope you can see it so you can see how it is looking so the next thing now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the second one. So I'm going to open it on one side. Okay. So I'll open this on one side like this. So like I said, it has a trick. Let me adjust my camera. Okay. So like I said, so most times when you, after cutting, when you open it like this, it's just going to be looking like this. So you don't, you just take this other part of it like this. That's this other part and then you just like so when you do this that's when you are going to have that handkerchief effect so you can see it so what i'm going to do now so i've cut open this i'm going to cut open the second one and then i'll take it back to my machine to join them together you know the way we normally join our, our peplum that's when you are doing a 720 degree peplum how we normally so i'll cut this now and then i'll join them together and then I'll bring it back and show you how it will look like, how full it will be looking. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can see how our 720 degree handkerchief lay is looking. So you can see how full it is looking. So you can see the back. You can see it is very full. So this makes it really fuller than the normal one. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.